Hey guys, Rob's Random Stuff here. Today we're gonna make some super juicy burgers. I'm not sure how many people you saw. I'm just gonna try to show you how to keep the juice inside your burgers. I'm just using some 80-20 organic. I'm gonna go ahead and grind out this onion. I'm gonna put that in, our seasonings. Just a little bit of Cajun, sea salt garlic powder, fresh ground black pepper, got them all in there, see not too much, I'm sure it's going to be plenty extra, but we'll go with what we need, so basically just take your peeled onion, get a microplane, you can use a regular grater if you want, but I like to use these because they tend to grind it nice and fine for you. This. As you can see, get a nice little slurry. You don't want to go too crazy. Try to do half the onion. If you don't like too much onion flavor. You can use less, but this is definitely going to give you some moisture, also flavor. It's basically just gonna disintegrate as we're grinding. You can see there, it's just basically turned to the slush. Just take the rest of that off. Go ahead and just put this to the side. Basically, I don't put any seasoning inside my burgers. like to just get a little bit of the onion in here and just work it through. All my seasoning I prepared, I like to put on top of the burgers. You don't really need it on the inside. You want that to char up a little on the grill. It's gonna be really juicy and moist burger. Always 80-20. So we're gonna make three burgers out of this. I like to just basically get it pretty even. Get a little meat log here, line it up. Just make your lines, get it. See how good I got here. See if I'm YouTube worthy. I'd say exactly cracked. Not too bad. So basically we're just going to make these burgers for the grill. Robert, can you come over here and get me some tin foil, please? It's over here. Just rip off a sheet for me. Our burgers, just want to keep them pretty level. Perfect. And this is actually non stick. Kind of cool. New thing. So we're going to try that out. Again, I'm not going to uh, try not to touch this foil with my dirty hands. So I'm gonna keep these nice and uniform. Again, you don't wanna overmix. I'm gonna keep the meat in here as loose as possible. Otherwise, you have a tough burger. So the less you mix it, the better. So we have our burgers made. So we are going to go light the grill, get that going. A little news here, Smokey Joe, this is going to be the last video I'm doing. No more Weber Smokey Joe. It's going to be a new and exciting grill coming up in my next video. 
So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll let you guys know in a week or two when I'm ready. And uh, maybe we'll do it even live. I'll do an unboxing and everything. All right, hang on. We'll see you in a minute. All right, I forgot to season them. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead, just mix all these spices around. Again, just some sea salt, a bit of Cajun spice, lots of garlic powder, and a lot of black pepper, fresh ground. Just gonna go ahead and liberally season. A lot of it's gonna fall off on the grill, so don't be shy. So right now, we'll just do one side of the burger, and once he's hit the grill, we will season the other side. So again, I'm gonna go heat up that grill, back in a couple minutes. All right guys, we're back. Grill is super hot, so we're gonna go ahead and put in a couple wood chips for now to get some smoke. Cherry wood, to get those going. Just gonna toast up these buns real quick. All the wood gets going. Already smelling really good. As you can see, smoke is coming already. Just gonna lid this up for a second. Let's get that really going. See that smoke pouring out. These buns are gonna take just seconds to, to toast up. We don't want to burn them. We're really gonna try to get these things toasted up. And that's all we need. Just like that. Doesn't take long. Really doesn't take long. Grill marks, really good. And get this. Do the rest of these on. And as promised, I'm gonna get the burgers. Spice side down. Cover them up, get some smoke flavor going. Actually, I forgot, it's like I promised you guys. Season the second side. And then we're good. All right, as you can see, the smoke's really already developing. So we're gonna get that going and uh, we're gonna flip them in just a second. All right, guys, still smoking away here. It smells really good. I'm gonna zoom in on that Robert and see what those look like. They got a little smoky color. As you can see in the grill, I'm not sure if you can see it. Still some smoke chips smoldering. I'm gonna give these a flip. I could use a bit more of a sear, but that's okay. On one of the burgers, we're gonna use a little barbecue sauce, sweet baby rays. Cameraman's getting smoked out over there. It's good he's got sunglasses on. So we're gonna let this, it's gonna be heated through while it's cooking. So we're gonna cover these up, let them smoke away. And we'll give you the uh, plating on our next shot. All right guys, we're gonna plate these up. I did put some cheese on while we were off camera. See the one with the barbecue sauce had a little runoff there. It's fine. Don't need too much cheese. This is looking good. See the clean burger, no bun. See that there. Cover up that cheese. Yeah. You can see the plate in here. Looking real good. Nice and charred. Smoke, I can smell. One barbecue, one cheese, one plain. All right, guys, like, subscribe, give us some suggestions. Probably zoom in on that. It's gonna be our last grill. The Smoky Joe Weather. So keep in touch. I'll let you guys know. Maybe we'll do a live video of the unboxing of the new secret grill. Stay random. See you on the next video.